guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to do a test of the M1 MacBook Air. I know a lot of you bought the, the M1 Air and I still recommend the M1 or the M2 if you have more money, but the MacBook Air is incredibly powerful. I've been using this for more than a year and it, it really, I can't believe how powerful this is. Today I'm gonna do a little test so you see if you are using Photoshop, if you are using uh, creating mockups, if you are working with high res images, at least you get an idea more or less. Again, I repeat motion design. If you are doing After Effects with a lot of layers and a lot of animations, and it's, it's, it's like more than 15 seconds animations with all the layers and effects and, and everything, then it's going to take, it's going to, it's not going to be the best computer. If you are doing Figma, Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, it's more than enough, guys. None of the Apple products are good for 3D. Just so you know, if you are thinking of doing 3D, Apple products, not your cup of tea. It's not the best thing. But for everything else, this is pretty good. So today I'm just going to test. I'll do a little test, small test with Photoshop because a lot of you ask me this. So the little test I'm going to do is to open this mockup. It's a PST file. And then inside the PST, I'm going to insert images that are quite high resolution, quite heavy. So I'm going to start with the PSD. I'm going to throw it to Photoshop. As you, as you can see, it opens pretty fast. This is the mockup. And then if I go to layers, this is book A5. Then I click on front design, click here. And this is my design. So I double click here and then I'm going to add this image, which is quite large is 6,000 by 3,000 pixels. And then I'm going to keep it there as a smart object. So it keeps all the properties and the size. And I'm going to look it up here. So this is how it looks. It looks pretty good. And then I'm going to go again inside and I'm going to select this image and I'm also going to throw it in here. Let's say we're going to make a cover gonna look really beautiful with images from Anas Plus. Then I'm gonna save again and then I'm already here. So I'm gonna keep changing things in the mockup and right now as you see the mockup is quite large. Now I'm gonna fill the rest of the things. And if I go here, I can see that we are nearly, nearly half a, a gigabyte. But then now what I'm going to do is to select the image, image size, and now I'm going to increase it 200%. That's going to be a pretty heavy image. So I'm going to increase it. I'm going to say, okay, and let's see how long it takes. This will take quite a while, pretty much on every computer, but this one does it pretty well. It's half a gigabyte, I double the size, and then I'm gonna save it. You see now it takes a little bit longer to save, but it goes pretty fast. And then if I go here, this is a gigabyte. Right now it's nearly a gigabyte file. Usually a one gigabyte file in Photoshop is already a little bit tough to move. Still with M1, things go very smooth. The computer is not hot, it's perfectly fine. So I'm going to do more things to it. So I'm going to increase the file size again and see if I double the size now, how long it's going to take. So you can, you can have an idea. I don't think any of you is using these incredibly high, heavy files, but I'm making an exaggeration. So you can see that even when we exaggerate, the computer can handle pretty much a lot. So now I'm going to increase it again to 200, which is going to be 18,000 pixels. It's going to be so big that Potentially the computer is going to say this is too big. There's no way we can save this. Now it's going to take a bit longer because it's two gigabytes file and two gigabytes. It takes quite a while, but let's see. Let's see what the, the MacBook Air can do. It's taking time, but it's loading. It's getting there. For the most part, you will never use these files unless you are using print design. I never create these heavy files, especially doing uh, design work, digital design. 
So now this file is really, really, really big and it's probably incredibly heavy. So what I'm gonna do is to save it and this is gonna take quite a while. So I'm gonna save now and see how long it takes. 20, 22. It's taking some time, but it's going quite okay. It's taking about the same time it took to make it double the size. Yeah, it's flying now. It's going pretty fast. 100%. Could not save this document because the document exceeds the 2 GB limit for a file data in this format. Would you like to save it in a large file format PSP? I say, okay. So apparently when it's more than 2 GB, you cannot save it as a PSD. You have to save it as a PSB. So right now I'm going to look at the size of the file, PSB. 2.25 gigabytes guys it's it's incredibly heavy file and uh and it's done with the macbook air with no problem whatsoever and um we changed pretty much everything in it and we made something that was you know like very small we made it really big we put all the files with uh, with its resolution all its original size and with two gigabyte files and the computer handles it very nicely again i don't think None of you is gonna create a mock-up or pictures like this this heavy, but if you have to, just so you know, this works perfectly fine. Again, after a year and a half using this computer, I keep recommending it. So if you are looking for a laptop and you wanna get something powerful and you are not going to do any of the things I said at the beginning, you are not gonna do 3D, you are not gonna do heavy motion design, you are just gonna do graphic design. Even, even doing heavy tasks like this one, you can see the computer handles it very, very well. Now that these computers are gonna get cheaper, go for the 16 gigabytes memory RAM and at very least 500 gigabytes of SSD. If you are learning, if you are a junior, you still have a lot of career to go through, just so you know that you don't need to spend all your savings in a very expensive computer. That's not gonna make you a, a better designer. The MacBook Air is more than enough and it's quite affordable in my opinion. Thank you guys and I will see you in the next one. Ciao.